Sunday, December 4, 2005, two teenage lifesavers were assaulted by a group of Middle Eastern boys on North Cronulla Beach. The incident provoked an immediate backlash and plans were made for protest the following Sunday. Information spread through word of mouth and text messages commanding every effing Aussie to reclaim the beach and teach these wogs a lesson. Altercations and fights in Cronulla are common. Northies, the local pub, sees dozens of fights white on white each Friday and Saturday night. But the North Cronulla assault was different, and for three reasons. One, the perceived antagonists were Middle Eastern. Two, the victims were lifesavers and hence considered icons and upholders of Australian values. And three, it occurred at the peak of John Howard's inspired rise of conservative values. Here is a short video showing the riots. Prime Minister Howard has defended his position that Australia is not a country of racists, despite the recent Cronulla riots. Also disturbing the emergence of an extremist website, Stormfront, which celebrates the Cronulla riots. On it, messages such as fight on and the white Australia policy has been abandoned and betrayed. There are also videos glorifying the bashings of people from Middle Eastern backgrounds. One video, The Battle for Cronulla, has been downloaded 1700 times and closes with the message, not white, not welcome in Cronulla. What is racism? Racism is the belief that a particular race is superior or inferior to another. That person's social or moral traits are predetermined by his or her inborn biological characteristics. Racism has existed throughout human history. It may be defined as a hatred towards one person by another, or the belief that another person is less than human because of skin colour, language, customs, place of birth or any other factor supposedly reveals the basic nature of that person. During the past 500 to 1,000 years, racism on the part of Western powers towards non-Westerners has had far more significant impact on history than any other form of racism, such as racism among Western groups or among Easterners such as Asians and Africans. The most notorious example of racism by the West has been slavery, particularly the enslavement of Africans in the New World. Slavery itself dates back thousands of years. This enslavement has accomplished because racists believe that black Africans were less fully human than white Europeans. There were many different forms of racial abuse. Here are just a few we face in our school community. Racial discrimination. Racial discrimination is treating a person differently through a process of social division into categories not necessarily related to race. Racial slurs. A derogatory or disrespectful nickname for a racial group used without restraint. Racial taunt is an insult intended to demoralise the recipient. Here is another short video containing Martin Luther King. In 1961, protesters in Albany, Georgia, demonstrated against discrimination. They were arrested despite following the principle of nonviolence preached by Martin Luther King, Jr. In Washington on August 28, 1963, Martin Luther King, Jr. made his famous plea for freedom and equality. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. Moving on to school racism. Interviews conducted with 900 secondary school students across Australia also found Anglo-Australian youth displayed consistent prejudice towards other culture groups, particularly towards darker-skinned students from places such as Africa and India. The report showed that young Australians showed racial abuse ranging from verbal insults to cultural stereotyping with its impact influenced by gender, age and the type of school. 
Students who attended a Catholic school were 1.7 times less likely to report experience of racism than students going to government schools. Racism made students feel angry, depressed, increased headaches, muscle tension and made them feel like they did not want to turn up to school. Here is a short video titled, We Are All The Same Colour In The Dark. So many different faces coming from different places. Fighting racism is like fighting a war. We don't need sorrow and pain no more. Racism cuts through your heart like a bullet and sword. What is the world headed towards? All this hating needs, needs to come to a stop. Let us all put our hands in one spot. Uniting together because we are all we've got. We'll see some change if we all do our part. Now take the time to realize we're all the same inside. Let's make a culture of peace as we drop our pride. Turn off the lights on racism. And let's make our mark. Because we are all the same color. When we're in the dark. Turn off the lights on racism. In concluding, racism is the issue in front of our nation and whether we like it or not, it could boil over as it did in 2005. We need to stop it in our children's playground and stop racism in our schools.